Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to not my home studio, welcome to not Crimson Guitars, welcome to VintageToolShop.com, my side gig. Hold on, get the mask off. What's up, yo? Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Welcome to my hobby. I have, I have a life full of various hobbies. Guitar building is one, tool collecting is another, and we at VintageToolShop.com had a delivery yesterday of what I have been told is one of the nicest toolboxes full of tools that we've ever had in. And uh, well, I figured let's get some cameras out because uh, the last time I did this, a lot of you said, hey, show us more of this, please. So uh, without any more prevarication, I give you a toolbox full of tools. Okay, this piece he's had his lock broken off at some point. I'm just gonna rummage through and get my hands dirty and we'll see what comes out of it. Of course, planes are my bag. I absolutely love uh, hand planes. And uh, immediately we have a badger style. Little bullnose plane. Uh, that's a gorgeous handle. Most of the tools that we buy are in poor condition, at least when they get to us and we restore everything. And oftentimes on a plane like this, you'll see the name. Uh, you'll see the name up here. Uh, what you need to look out for is Holt Zapfel. If anybody finds a Holt Zapfel, it's worth nothing. Just phone me and I'll buy it for you. From you. <laughs> okay. This one has got no name. Aha, look at that. So we've got a Preston iron. Preston are a fantastic make. And Preston actually marked their name on the sides of the planes. Uh, it is potential, it's potentially a Preston. Uh, although they also sold blades for people. So there we go, the first, first thing of interest. You might even find Preston stamped on the, uh, on the wedge at some point. Whoop. What am I doing? There we go. Needs a little bit of work. Okay, let's let's see. Loads of chisels and gouges. I love the octagonal handles. It's one of my favorites. So yeah, you can't beat that. Ooh, handmade marking gauge. Little brass stem. That's probably a tube that's had some ebony put into it which is all fun and games. I'm not losing my mind yet. I can't in this light quite make out the name. So that's a compass plane. Beautiful. See this here? That's where somebody's hammered the wedge in too, too hard and snapped that on both sides. So actually that's, that's worthless, unfortunately. These are nice. Just unnecessary scallops and things. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a, a bench stop. I uh, can't, can't make out a brand. Essentially, as you screw that in, the bench top comes up and it allows you to plane up against relatively thin stock, which is quite, quite a cool tool. Missing a spring or two, saw set. Somebody's had a go at fixing that. Well, just general, general stuff at the moment. Look at that. Cool. What are you? I do not know what this is. Not a clue. Hmm. That's fun. Okay, plain blades, wedges, etc. Okay, well, let's have a look in here then. So, tool roll, fairly standard stuff. That's a tire pressure monitor, and obviously, it's a brand new tool roll. That's 
These sand vixels with the plastic handles are actually quite nice. Good Swedish steel. That's fun. Look at that handle. So that matches the gouge. That's a beautiful rasp, still, still useful. Grease gun. I could use that on my uh, M6, uh, M6 Mark II, that's a camera. On my lathe at home. So this is the thing, you never really know what you're gonna pull out. It could be uh, the aforementioned Holt Zapfel, it could be, um, you know, rubbishy old files, greasy handles dead saws. A large portion of what we do buy is that sort of, that sort of stuff. And then you find beautiful spoke shaves and hand planes and, and the like. That's pretty. See how worn out that is? Once we've cleaned that up, that's gonna be nice. A pad saw. Okay, so this is still fairly general stuff. Oh, that's not, hold on. You're a pretty one. So this is a cutting gauge, the brass head, and that locks in. And it's got a name on a T-Ryle. That's a very, very nice, very nice tool. Boxwood, maybe beach. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, and then just more, more of the same. And that's a marking gauge with a, yeah. That's been modified at some point. That's a nice Henry Taylor-ish, once it's fixed. That's a cool one. That's a chain splitter for splitting uh, motorbike chains or, or bicycle chains, etc. Ah, okay, hold on, I see. I see some treasure already. Ooh, actually I see some treasure treasure. Okay. So in here we've got molding planes, beading planes, bits and pieces, but the first plane I see is this. This is a screw stem plow plane by Matheson, I would say. Yep, Matheson 9B. That. So you've got boxwood screw stems, beech and beech, and this is how you adjust your fence there. And it's a plow plane, so you get different size blades. Here's, here's a bunch of the blades. And uh, that is a at least several hundred pound plane. and just an example of just amazing construction. I love that, okay. Well, let the fun truly begin. That's out of a panel marking gauge, I would say, so the other half should be in there somewhere. This is a swan neck by Thomas Ibbotson. Yeah, Thomas Ibbotson. Swan neck lock mortise chisel. So uh, where the lock goes into the side of your door, you'll use that to, to do that. Bench hook. This bench doesn't have enough room. It's nowhere near. I am working my way towards the bottom where the planes are because I can see, I can see some beautiful things that are making me very, very excited. Okay, these are often broken and this one isn't. This is a, a saw vise for sharpening saws. So your saw will go in there. I don't see any saws actually. Oh, there are, there's some in the bottom. And that locks in, that goes to your bench and you've got your adjustment there. Paramo make them, as do distant, etc. Or did at least. 
Ooh, that's a badger plane. Anyway. Okay. Sanderson, Liverpool. Beautiful draw knife. So the way the draw knives are made, you've got the, the handle going, the, the blade tang goes all the way through the handle and then is peened over a, 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 a washer or something. To, it's absolutely stable and beautiful. Okay, this is a very early standing number six, I think. I think I'm going to have to swap the one I have at home with this tool. Stunning rose with handles, low knob, pre-adjuster, so uh, more modern ones, i.e. after 1898-ish, I think, have an adjuster there to pull the frog forwards and backwards, and there's gonna be engraving inside of that small um, knob. American, yeah, 18, 1800, late 1800s, late 19th century, there we go but that is a stunner of a plane. Who? hello, I was hiding this. Look at me. Oh yes. So this is an, uh, that sits like so, and you'll move along a shooting board, that's it, it's a shooting board plane with a tiny mouth. See how Delicate and beautiful, the, the top of that handle is. And, uh, and it's designed so that your knuckle doesn't hit the, uh, hit the workbench. This is, this is lovely. No make that I can see, and they were often made as uh, user-made castings of somebody else's plane, but that's a particularly nicely made one. And that's an interesting brass knob as well. This is what I love. The hunt. Okay, we've got another small, another another Ibbotson, although that's been broken and uh, brazed together at some point, which is a pity, but uh, yep, is what it is. <sighs> yes, I am. I am avoiding the real treasure here. I really am. As a whole, they're not in the best of conditions. Absolutely. Spear and Jackson. But, well. Marples, nice saw. Good and straight. I'm sure you've all spotted the real treasure. Let's see what we've got. This isn't the real treasure. Oh, this is a sight level. Okay, this is fun. Where are we? J. Buist maker, Edinburgh. So that's a rare spirit level. We've got that there. I think that might have had a, a new bulb put in it. But if you look at this end, there's a hole there. And you look through it. Sorry. And there should be, no, it's not actually fully functional. There should be a, a level inside, uh, sorry, a hair inside that helps you level with, the, with that. Um, nonetheless, that is a lovely thing. Okay. Okay, this is a badger plane. So the blade goes all the way up to the edge. Oh, look at that, so we've got a double boxing. You've got a, a, a boxwood piece of material inlaid in, and it's got dovetails, two dovetails. I've seen them even with three. So this is a W Coates. I've never seen W Coates before. That's lovely. Bronze striking plate. Yeah, nice plate. Okay, and then you've just got the general. Again, good condition. That's a Matheson. So that matches that, which is cool. Can't quite make that BC out. Let's uh, 
Let's make some space. Yeah, I've been avoiding this plane for a little bit too long. I already know I want to keep it. Nope. Nope. Okay, bronze or gunmetal, dovetailed maybe, or just cast, no, just cast Irish pattern block plane. That's pretty, pretty sexy. Another early low angle. See, that's got the adjuster I was talking about there. There we go. I'm not entirely sure what you can see here now. But yeah, that's a, a good early Stanley. Three patent dates. That's nice. This looks like a... S Ooh, crikey, O'Reilly, hello, baby. Okay. Um, Safi's, Safi's in the background saying, oh, what has he seen? What has he seen? Uh, this is... This is tiny. So this is a Spears Air. I know. This, this, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, Safi, do we have, would you be able to pull out something that's the right size? This is, this is tiny. This is an incredible, I've never seen one this size. Um, I don't really know what to say. So it's had a, a break on the handle there where it's been essentially repaired a little bit. That's not ideal. I have never seen one this size though. And as such, it's gonna have to be worth a lot more than I thought. Uh, here we go. Thank you very much. This is, yeah, that's the sort of chunkiness it's supposed to be and, and, and a bit longer, uh, much wider. That is, that's gorgeous. Uh, I want to keep half of this collection, sorry, thank you very much. I, I want to keep half this collection. Uh, and uh, you can see where the, the sides have been dovetailed together. Nice tight mouth as well. When you're buying a vintage plane, it, the, the mouth is the, uh, is the key really. If you've got a, a, a nice tight mouth, then it'll give good shavings. That is something special, but uh, yeah. This is the, oh. Oh my gosh. This is an incredible plane. So, so this, the customer told us that he's been using this plane as a doorstop. Uh, for the last 20 years? Okay. Mm. I, I'm, I'm utterly blown away by this. This, this. this plane deserves a video all on its own. I'm not sure, I can't quite see if it's been dovetailed. I don't think it has. I think it's solid cast. Um, Brazilian rosewood infill and wedge. A sweetheart bridge and a massive James Howarth blade. And it's a snecked blade, which is that, which gives you something to hit up against as you take it out and, and adjust things. This is, I think, one of the single nicest planes that has ever come into this shop. And we have had we're on 38,000. We've listed 38,000 tools over the last four years. And there's no maker's name on it. That is a, that is a significant tool. And funnily enough, that is about six inches bigger than I thought it was. So what can you do? I, I, saw, I saw some photos of this beforehand. Okay, and then, you know, there are, there are more bits and pieces, uh, uh, blades, and uh, that's an Ibbotson blade, etc. Oh, wow, there's twice as many molding planes as I thought. Okay. Da, 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 da. We have got what looks like a half set of Matheson hollows and rounds, and... 
matching Matheson reading planes and beading planes, all Matheson, all matching, full set, and more. Holy, holy hell. Okay. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's the best box of tools we've ever had to come in. It's the best two of the nicest planes we've ever had come in. Well, what can I do? I, I need to, I need to do a little bit of research on this and decide whether this is coming home with me or this is coming home with me or maybe both of them are coming home with me. I'm going to have to fight uh, Safi for these planes, but you know, um, if you have any questions, if you're interested in vintage tools in any way, shape or form, uh, please let me know in the comments below, basically. I, we are going to be doing more on the Vintage Tool Shop Instagram account. Uh, it'll be linked to from uh, my bio at The Real Ben Crow and Crimson Guitars, etc. That's going to be happening soon. I need to put my mask back on as well. Uh, we are, well, uh, just after lockdown, the customers do sometimes come in in person still. Everything is online. There's more than 7,000 tools listed online at any one point. And uh, yeah, a lot of these are going to be online soon. I, I mean, I started this tool shop for a reason, and that is because I want all the tools. All the tools, damn it. Anyway, um, yeah, let me know if you enjoy this content. Uh, click like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, if, you have, if you have anything like this and you want to sell it, give us a shout, uh, vintagetoolshop.com. Uh, Safi will deal with you happily. We ship stuff from around the country to the shop. We'll have it picked up by couriers, etc. And uh, yeah, who knows? Some of it might end up in my workshop. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's tiny. It's tiny. It's huge. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think the um, pictures really conveyed it, did it? Not but in the it, slightest. Yeah, well, out of out of out of reference, I saw this. Uh, you know, that was that's a Spears. That's a Spears standard. You know, Nora's A4 size coffin smoother thingy. What's the? I've forgotten even what to call it. That is incredible. Have you seen, have you done any research whatsoever? No, I haven't, no. And this is literally six or eight inches bigger than I thought it was. I mean, James Howarth, fantastic brand, really good steel. Um, my favorite sliding bevel ever is made by Howarth, was made by Howarth. You've got the sweetheart sort of Cupid's bow thing there. I'm still recording, by the way. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, and the Brazilian rosewood, I mean, guitar builders would just, mm, that their wood sounds delicious. And you've got the same shape matched onto the... Yeah, Zephy, I'm afraid these two are, these two are coming home with me. Um, and I'm swapping the number six. I'll bring you another infill or two to, to trade for them, just in fairness. Hell, I might even buy them. You don't get a discount. <laughs> I don't get a discount. You should have seen Louis' face the other day when I came in. <laughs> I came in the other day and I said, hey, Louis, this vice, Crimson needs it. Ring it up on the till. He's like, okay, give me a 20% discount. And he rang it up on the till and I pulled my card and I paid for the thing. He's like, Ben never pays for tools. What the hell's happened? <laughs> Did you hit your bed, sir? You've never called me sir again, ever in your life, have you? No. No? <laughs> Shit. Um, I, 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 a man can live and dream. So seriously, hold on, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen hollows and rounds. Okay, so uh, a half set of hollows and rounds is eighteen of them, isn't there? 
Nine, 18, it's, it's yeah, nine hollows, nine rounds. So we're actually missing a few. So it's part of a half set. So a full set is 32. Most people only had half sets. And then obviously uh, somewhere along the line, a pair or two has gone missing. Uh, however, to find this many tools by the same maker, including, uh, including some of the bigger ones and the Matheson 9B, all by the same maker and all owned by Mr. Parker, I would say, that alone is an incredible thing. I need to put my mask on and, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, see you guys soon. Wow. Just, just wow.